Imagine you were accused of doing something wrong that you didn't do, and then you were thrown into prison because of it. What would you do? Did you know this actually happened to two men in the Bible? Let's go find out what they did. Paul and Silas were traveling together, telling people about God. In one of the places they went, there lived a slave girl who was controlled by an evil spirit. Her masters would make money because the girl could tell people what was gonna happen in the future. One day, the girl saw Paul and Silas. And what happened? She started following them and shouting that they were servants of the Most High God and they had come to tell everyone the way of salvation. Well, she's right. Yes, but she did it for days. And it was hard to talk to people with the girl shouting all the time. Yeah, that would be distracting. Paul found it very annoying. So he commanded the evil spirit to come out of the girl. The girl was free and happy, but her masters were angry. They were unhappy because they couldn't use her to make money anymore. They grabbed Paul and Silas and dragged them before the judges of the city. They told the judges that Paul and Silas were causing all kinds of trouble and that they were teaching the people to do things that were wrong. Wait, but that wasn't true. Yes, but the people believed it. They all gathered together against Paul and Silas. The judges commanded that Paul and Silas be beaten with rods. That would really hurt. After they beat them, the judges had them thrown into prison. What? They commanded the jailer to keep Paul and Silas locked up and not let them escape. The jailer took them to the inner prison. He locked their feet between wooden bars called stocks. Yeah, that sounds pretty bad. Now, if you were Paul and Silas, what would you be doing? I would probably be sad or upset, confused about why God let this happen, maybe even complaining. But do you know what they were doing? What? The Bible tells us in Acts 16, 25. But at midnight, Paul and Silas were praying and singing hymns to God, and the prisoners were listening to them. How could they be singing in a time and place like that? They were able to have joy, even in a difficult situation, because they had the right perspective. They were focusing on the right thing. So what do I need to focus on in order to have joy? Philippians 4.4 4 says, Rejoice in the Lord always. And again, I will say, rejoice. Rejoice means to have joy. But that's not something that comes from you. The verse says, rejoice in the Lord. If you're a child of God, you can have joy in any situation when you choose to focus on God and who He is, rather than the hard things that might be going on around you. Because He's in control. He's working all things together for your good. So that's how Paul and Silas were able to have joy, even while they were in prison. We don't know how long they sang and prayed, but we do know what the Bible says happened next. There was a huge earthquake. Everything was shaking like crazy, but this wasn't just a normal earthquake. Not only did the prison shake, but the prison doors all came open and everyone's chains fell off. They were free. That was great news for the prisoners, but terrible news for the jailer. If the prisoners got away, he would be punished. He was scared. So he drew his sword. He thought it would be better just to die. But Paul called out to him and stopped him. Then the jailer came to Paul and Silas and asked them what he needed to do to be saved. So they said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you'll be saved, you and your household. And that's the same thing that you can do to be saved. Everyone has broken God's law, but God in his great love made a way of salvation when his perfect son Jesus died in our place. The jailer and his family believed that Jesus had taken the punishment for their sins and they were saved. If you wanna learn more about how you can be saved and become God's child, you can watch one of our God's Gift videos. If you are God's child, I wanna challenge you when you're in a difficult situation to ask God to help you have joy and to focus on Him rather than the hard things going on around you.